we were just walking by and Jim found this freaking earring right on the surface. It looks like silver to me. Right on the surface, right there at the bus stop. Right there. D D Jim doesn't even have his detector on either. We just came from a big tot lot around the corner right there. And I was just coming over here, going over the car. I want to come over here and see if there's any targets over here under the trees. I'm not going to dig any out. I just want to see if there's any. The ground is too hard right now. But I want to go around these big trees here, under the big trees, and see if there's anything. Because these are some old trees, right? Huge trees. Well, found jewelry today. Yeah. And your detector wasn't even on. It's silver, dude. Yeah. And definitely silver, man. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. It's a little dagger. I don't know if it's silver. Probably not. It's probably not silver. Yeah. Some jewelry and earring. I ain't getting nothing here. What I can do is just um, go to my recovery speed drop it down to six or five, four, ten kilohertz. Ten kilohertz and just swing slower, right? Nothing, huh? Wow. There's some iron there. Dry as a bone out there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to dig targets out here. And dry as a bone. Dry as oil over here, man. Right there. No, just pulsing because I'm in 10 kilohertz. Now watch, I'll lift my recovery speed up to eight. Right. I, I really don't think that the recovery speed is affecting the depth on this coil here, right? All right. It's just, you know, I'm not trying to go 10 inches deep here. I just want to separate targets out and get them out quick. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the recovery speed 10. And I'm in 10 kilohertz, so I'm gonna false if I swing fast. Multi two here. Go down to my gain here a little bit. Junk, just a lot of junk. Well, thank you for watching.